Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. I'm test casting a new toy, the Sage Igniter. Uh, this is Sage's newest fast action rod. Just came out, hasn't even hit the market yet. I am test casting all these, trying different lines. Uh, this rod really isn't for everybody. It's going to be for a more advanced, more technical caster. Think about windy situations, longer cast, demanding situations where you might have to go out there and get the fish. This rod at some point is going to give you an edge that you need fast action rods just to explain they're going to help you achieve greater distance with less false cast and deliver more accuracy the reason is fast action rods just recover quicker allowing you to throw tight loops which are much more aerodynamic and they can send your fly very quickly to the other side of the river so in a nutshell technical situations more advanced casting great accuracy lots of line speed I'm going to start by talking about the five weight. That's the nine foot five weight. It just happens to be at the top of the pile there. Really enjoyed casting this rod. Uh, it's not for short casts right by the boat. It's going to be for a wade fisherman that needs to go out there and get some stuff done at a little bit greater distance, anywhere from 30 feet and beyond, 30 to 100 feet. This rod goes and gets them. As far as the line selection goes, I really like the Rio Grand line on this. I tried a couple of different lines. I thought the Grand for all around trout fishing situations was excellent. Anything from a, a you know a parachute Adams to a hopper and some, some nymphs or a light streamer, the Grand gets it done. I actually would also consider throwing a real big nasty on this if I were gonna cast a lot of hoppers, dry droppers, and streamers. So that's the five weight, fantastic rod. Really like that one. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to the 7 because I just like the 7 so much. I just felt like that is the maybe the ultimate bonefish rod. Um, anything lightweight inshore. This has a Rio general purpose taper on it that casts extremely well. I would say look no further than the Rio general purpose taper if you're going to take this for bonefish, light permit, or smaller inshore species. This number 7 just is an excellent caster uh, and actually casts pretty good at reasonable distances too, meaning where most fish are caught, it actually threw a real quick, accurate cast at as minimal as 30 feet. So that's the number seven. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump to the number four. Now, the number four, what I, what I thought about this immediately was I thought that this number four would probably fish the same situations as most other five weights. And a rod with just a little bit lighter tip, a little bit more touch, a little bit more fun to carry in hand. Uh, again, on this one, I personally prefer to Rio Grande or Perception. I thought both of those lines were better. If you're, if you're throwing dry flies in extremely technical situation, I'm thinking Missouri River, Henry's Fork, where we need uh, a four weight that can deliver an extremely accurate cast with a small dry flyer in a merger. Consider the Rio Gold just because how well it delivers a delicate fly. But for most trout fishing purposes, I like the Rio Grande on this as well, maybe with the perception. Uh, the last one is the number eight. The number eight, we happen to be throwing a Rio Big Nasty on this one, uh, which I thought was a really well-matched taper for most uh, freshwater situations. Again, if I were taking this number eight and I were fishing inshore flat species, be thinking permit, maybe some light snook work, bonefish, small jacks. I'm going with that Rio general purpose taper again on this rod just because it's so well matched. Um, but that's the Igniter family, fantastic casting rod, super high performance. Definitely not for your everyday situation, but if you're planning a big trip, you're going after high stake species and you want to give yourself an edge, this is definitely the rod to consider.